uh, Brock Bowers, 6'3", 200, weighed in at 243 pounds um, at the combine. He played at 230, so he did put on some weight for the combine, which is which is a good thing. We'll get to that here in a minute. Um, you know, and and early first round pick, right? I, I don't see him getting past 12. So I guess you could call that mid if you're being very particular in how we break down the 32 teams in the NFL. But, um, you know, early early to mid first round pick. Um, and, and this guy, he, he does have it all. Size, speed, drive, uh, high motor guy. I think he's the best tight end to come out in years. And, and I think he's, he's going largely underappreciated because we're talking so heavily about the quarterback class and and the top two or three receivers in this class that Bowers is kind of getting left out but all the hype that we got about a TJ Hawkinson all the hype upon hype that we got about Kyle Pitts and Brock Bowers is a better receiver of the football than both those guys right so um both of them they're a little taller right they're a little taller than Bowers have a little bit bigger frames and that's where Bowers is possibly going to be in limbo to start with, right? Do, do they have him cut weight in the NFL and stick him at receiver or do they have him try and bulk weight to see if they can stick him in line? Cause at 243 pounds, he's not really an inline tight end, right? Like he's going to have to play off ball. Um, but he was able to do that in Georgia. He was extremely versatile. He, he, he was involved in their sweep game. He played in line. He played in the slot. He played outside. They really did get him all over the field, especially this last season, to create all these mismatches. And and all he did was win. So um, just a great character guy. Um, is a stronger blocker than I think a lot of people give him credit for at his size. Um, but he will absolutely stick his head in there and and do what he can in the run game. I think some of the things that he needs to finish or or continue to polish off is is a little bit more consistent in his route running. I think at times he he rounds off routes instead of cutting routes a little bit. And I think at times against man coverage, some of the hand fighting, especially with some of the stronger uh, the bigger safeties or the or the stronger linebackers that he's going to go up against, he's going to have to be able to you know deal with the hand fighting and get off off the ball to create that separate or off of them to create the separation, excuse me. Um, And then, uh, you know, just overall, he, he is going to make an immediate impact in the NFL. Now, what Sam Laporta did at Detroit, I think we all were blown away, right? Like, so statistically, I don't know that he's going to match up to Sam Laporta, like what Detroit did with him, was an anomaly in a lot of ways. Um, but I think his yardage could easily surpass that of a Sam Laporta. I just don't know that he's going to have the touchdowns that he did. So, um, you know, given the right situation, I wouldn't be surprised if he pushes uh, close to close to 1,000 yards his rookie season. Um, and then we'll just see how many times he can fall in the end zone. But great, great prospect and and the best receiving tight end that we have seen in a very, very long time.